Welcome back, people. So, Green Lantern HBO Max series reportedly darker than first expected. This one is really interesting. I do like the Green Lantern. I think he's one of the most interesting characters around the DC area. Now, to me, I think what I like about him, it's not because of his powers, but it's because he is unique and he's really interesting to talk about. And even though I haven't read his books, but I do love his character designs and just talking about this article and possible good serials on HBO Max, it really has me interested. So let's hop into the article, y'all. Action Green Lantern series may still be some time away from its debut. Serious writer and showrunner Seth Graham Smith recently offered an update Nodding that the series is a big undertaking and it will take a while to become a reality. But a new report suggests that when the such anticipated series does debut, it may just have a darker tone than intentionally expected. According to Lemonerity, the Green Lantern series will be more akin to the Watchmen event series in terms of tone, something that may not only shift what fans expect from the series but how each of the characters is portrayed look I don't even trust Luminarity I don't even like those people but I really hope that this show does well you know and I don't think you know here's the thing I think DC and Warner Bros have a bad track record when it comes to certain TV shows on CW and on HBO Max. Some do good and some just don't do very well, in my honest opinion. But I think to me, when it comes to Green Lantern, he might have a chance of being a good serious on well, a good serious on HBO Max. But uh yeah, this is really interesting. You know, like I said, I like the character and hopefully, you know, Seth can up his game this time. While the report doesn't have much in the way of details when it comes to this possibly darker tone outside of comparisons to Watchmen, the idea that a Green Lantern series could have a similar tone isn't different to imagine. Even on the pages of comics might have, I mean, many of the characters in Green Lantern have complex personal lives and they each deal with issues of uh, bigotry, homophobia, and more depending upon those personal lives. And given what we've learned about the characters for the series, the live action versions of those characters will have those things to deal with as well. Bigot, uh, bigotry, homophobia, huh? Why does it sound like they're, I mean, why does it sound like they are, you know, adding unwanted politics into the show? And I'm, I'm not saying that they are, but this just sounds like it. I don't know. I'm um, I'm going to have to think on this a little bit more. Um, previously shared character descriptions have revealed that each character has something that they're dealing with. Guy Gardner, who will be portrayed by... American Horror Story star Phil um, Phil Whitrock is described as having a deep um, undercurrent of pain um, driving his outward alpha male nature. Alan Scott, played by Jeremy Ivory, is the image of heroic perfection, but hiding his homosexuality. And even the newest Lanner, Bree Jarrett, has complex struggles as a half human, half alien black woman who not only had, I mean, who not only has to deal with her, her human side, but racism and sexism on earth. Yeah, this is politics in this show all over. And I just knew it because when I, whenever I'm reading stuff like this, this sounds extremely woke. I don't like this. As well as her alpha male partner, Guy, who, I mean, Guy, other characters expected in the series, such as Jessica Cruz and Simon Bass, also have issues with trauma and anxiety 
as well as racism to deal with. When you put all of those things together, a darker and more serious tone similar to Watch Me makes sense. A darker tone will also fit in with um, with Rock. Recently told Entertainment Weekly about the series being not just your average superhero story, but a woke story, which I already know where this is going to go. Average superhero story. He takes on a lot of of this show. Sorry. Okay. Sometimes when you're tired, my reading can be good. It just sucks. That's why I don't like taking my time reading because I don't want to like rush it and go slow because I don't want people to think I'm drunk or anything. <laughs> Which is odd. See, it is really cool how sparling a storyline, isn't it? Rit Rock said. It's pretty epic. It spans time. It spans time and space, and it has something for everyone. It's not your average superhero story. It takes on a lot of this show. He's a pretty big part of it. I think it's an interesting way in to the story. It's not a controversial way in it, but I think people might see a side of him they don't know what's there. This whole thing just feels a bit woke. And to be honest with you, I don't know if I want to look forward to this show about homophobia, you know, uh, racism and homosexuality. Like, do they want us to know Green Lantern is gay? I mean, not Green Lantern, but I think it's a different character. But I don't know. I just <sighs> I'm trying to wrap my head around this article, try to figure out where does this show want to go? Because remember earlier on when I said something about these TV shows have a bad track record when it comes to having extra politics and shows like, you know, Batwoman, that show is definitely 100% woke. So that's why you haven't seen me react and review that garbage. Even Supergirl, that one is definitely woke. But I think this... um this upcoming TV show on HBO Max, this one is definitely up there with the rest of the woke, I mean woke garbage, because based on this article, I can tell it is. You know, I don't know. It just seems weird. You know, what I'm saying you don't have to agree with me, but that's just how I feel. So, if y'all want the article, I will have it in the description. You know, and uh, yeah. I'll enjoy my next content.